Hello again and welcome back to another one and today we have more on the discussion on what went down between Melly Mel and Eminem and this time we got to hear more from King Crooked who shared his thoughts on the matter and Crook also revealed something he didn't like about how Melly Mel handled the beef and we'll get to this shortly. Today we also have more from Akon who made a big reveal about working with Eminem that points to more to come in the future if it goes right but he also made some claims that raised eyebrows on the web and we'll get to this at the latter part of the video so stay tuned as I'll be looking forward to your thoughts since fans on Twitter are split so far. So starting with King Crooked, in a recent interview with On The Line Podcast, he spoke about Melly Mel vs Eminem and before he went in, he made it clear that Melly Mel's impact is untouchable, stating, Melly isn't concrete, his legacy is straight. And then he continued, with that being said, I knew that there wasn't really a way that he could outclass Eminem lyrically, not at this point in time. Em is one of the greatest wordsmiths to ever put words together and to ever rap, so it is like I already knew that was gonna happen. And when it was brought up that King Crooked is also just like that, Crook expanded on this point by adding, We kinda cut from the same cloth of technical skills, like the way we approach Ryan. We come from the school of Rakim and Cool G rap. And back on his point about Melly Mel vs Eminem, he expanded on what he meant by Melly Mel couldn't outclass Eminem lyrically, King Crooked expanded. When we just talk about rapping, you're talking about rhyming words. If a person knows how to rhyme 10 words in one sentence, but this dude only know how to rhyme 2 words in one sentence, this dude over here is superior at rhyming words. Now, the listener might not like to hear a dude rhyming 10 words in a sentence, you feel me? But he is still superior to this dude when it comes to technical rhyming. On Eminem being superior at rapping at this point, he broke it down like this. We're just talking technical skills, the writing tools, metaphors, punchlines, cadences, syllable rhyming, all these different tools that's in a writer's box. Eminem has commanded great craftsmanship over the tools in the MC's box. But he wasn't dissing Melly Mel's skills either, because remember, Melly Mel is a pioneer, so it wasn't like Melly Mel had other rappers to learn from. Think the Wright brothers who are generally credited for inventing the airplane that look like this. And from that knowledge, today we get F-35 Lightning 2s with top speeds of Mach 1.6. And King Crooked broke it down by stating this about Melly Mel. He didn't have nobody to build off of. We all got him to look at and say, I, that's how you did yours, now I could do mine better. And on the contrary to some of the wild takes you find on platforms like Twitter, King Crooked stated this about Eminem. We're getting close to 30 years and still ain't been another white rapper who surpassed him lyrically. And yes, King Crooked also addressed Melly Mel's apology to Eminem and while he believes it was kind of a classy move, the MC in him isn't a fan of Melly Mel apologizing because his diss track fell flat, Crook explains, the competitive MC in me, I don't want to see Melly Mel apologize, you said what you said. And in reaction to Crook's take on this, some are wondering, no white rappers to compare? What about Cage of Weatherman, Jamie Madrax of Twisted? Hmm, I've got a list of other white rappers I personally like better than Eminem. No, no, no. No, not, not, not you. But jokes aside, King Crooked made it clear that his take on Eminem is not about what music people may prefer to listen to, but rather about technical ability, capability, lyricism, and how Eminem's mastered the tools in a writer's box. Eminem's range is also something to behold. He had Darkness and Godzilla on the same album, two songs that make use of different tools in a writer's box, and he delivered great A material in both cases. This is what has separated Eminem from the others throughout his career in my opinion. But what are your thoughts on King Crooked's breakdown of Melly Mel vs Eminem? Because if you recall, King Crooked was initially hopeful when he believed a great diss from Melly Mel would be dope for the culture. But all hope was lost when Melly Mel counted to 8. Moving on to the next point today, Akon recently revealed some interesting details about his work with Eminem that led to the global smash hit Smack That in an episode on the Impulsive podcast. For instance, Akon revealed that we could expect more in the future from him and Eminem since he's in possession of two additional unreleased songs produced by Eminem. We did three records that day. The other two, I held them. Till this day, I still got them. Whoa. I still got those two records. I haven't released them yet. Whoa. Whoa. You got unreleased Eminem. No, no, no. M ain't on it oh, yet. Oh, just Eminem. Eminem produced. produced beats. That he produced. Stop. That he produced, right? Oh, I, I got to get back. I got to get back to Detroit and remind him of those records, though. Because those, out of all the records, 
those three was like out of here. But there's more that was said during the interview that raised eyebrows on the web when Akon spoke on the possibility of getting Eminem to come on the Impulsive podcast. Dream guest of ours, which honestly I, I like to manifest, but probably will never happen, is Eminem. And I want to ask you about that nah, collaboration. Eminem? Yeah. He would definitely do it. Have you guys reached out to him? We, I don't think we have. M would definitely bro, do the show. When's the last time he even did a... I'm gonna reach out to him. He would definitely bro, do the show. Bro. And this has led some to conclude. This is how you know Akon doesn't know M like that. Laughing emoji. Ain't no freaking way he gives this show the time of day. Those who've been following Akon know that he's also a great quote salesman and it's worked wonders for him. So even if he most likely knew deep down that would be a stretch, that wouldn't stop him from being optimistic about the idea. And some believe it would be great to get Eminem on the show, would be fire. Say what you will about Logan, but that podcast is dope as F. Would absolutely love that at Rosenberg, please. While on the other end, for others it is a straight up no. Someone said in the comments you should just go to Haley's podcast and they are right. We don't need Marshall on this low budget ish. But what are your thoughts? Do you think we could get more from Akon and Eminem? And could Akon be able to convince Eminem to come on the podcast? Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.